In order to get started uh, assembling your Eames lounge, the first thing you're going to need to do is get the right screwdriver. These two screwdrivers here are number two, the smaller one, and then number three, the larger one. We're going to go with the number three. The first thing we're going to do to assemble our Eames lounge is to put the, the seat shell onto the base. We're going to be using the longer screws that I mentioned earlier that have a washer on them. There will be four of those. It's uh, handy if you have a box to work on, although it's not 100% not necessary. We're going to take our seat shell and get it in position. Odds are on your seat shell you're going to be able to see an outline of where the, uh, where the hardware is going to attach. The hardware that is the seat base. So we're going to come over, take our seat base, and put it in position. What I would suggest you do with all the fasteners on this is put the fasteners in by hand in order to get them started. Here I'm starting the first bolt by hand. The reason I, I like to do it by hand is because we don't want to damage the threads that are set into the seat shell. And this goes for all the threads throughout our assembly. We want to start it off by hand just to protect the threads. These are all starting very easily and you'll probably have the same experience. Alright, once we have those put in by hand, we can tighten them up using our number three screwdriver. We want to tighten up the screws that are across from each other first and then the other two that are across from each other. And this will be our first of two assemblies. We're going to assemble this, which is the base, and then we're going to assemble the back of the seat as a separate unit, and then join the two together. Here we have the, uh, the parts that we're going to use to put our back assembly together. What we have here, we have the, uh, the top of the back. These bars here and here connect the upper and lower back pieces together. We've got large spacers up here and large screws that attach the top of the back. Four smaller spacers and four smaller screws that att attach the bottom of the back. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do in assembling the back of the Eames lounge is we're going to take one of these uprights here and we're going to attach it to the lower shell. The lower shell's got two holes on each side and each one, uh, each one of these has two holes on one end. So we're going to take these, tilt this up, take our smaller screw, we'll put the screw through the back, and we're going to go through the spacer and that will screw into one of these paired holes down here. Again, we're doing this with our hands to get it started. We don't want to damage any of the hardware. As you assemble these pieces, I would suggest that you leave things a little bit loose until you get all the parts put together. So there's one side has been put on. We're going to do the other side just the same. Coming through with our bolts. We're going to put a spacer on there. And then we attach the upright. Hand tight on the bolts and repeat.
With that, we have our uprights in position on the lower shell. And you should get something that looks like this. Now we'll move onward and we'll attach the upper shell to these larger holes down here in the same way. Here's our upper shell. We're going to put one of the larger bolts through there. Then we'll Once you have all the pieces together, you can be assured that things are lining up properly. Now we can take all the fasteners that we put in hand tight, we can go back with our number three screwdriver and we can tighten them up. As I tighten up the last of these fasteners, there are two more pieces that we're going to add on to the sub-assembly before we join it with the seat base. And those are metal angles that are going to attach here and over here. And they're going to allow us to join the two sub-assemblies together and attach the arms. If you look at these angle brackets together, you'll see that there is a left side and a right side. The way I'm holding them right now is the, is the correct position that they'll be in if you're at the front of the chair looking at them. They'll be in position like I'm showing you right now. One of the ways you can keep track of it is the two, two holes that are right in the angle those are going to be toward the front of the chair when you do your assembly. The way to put these on, on the side that has four holes, the holes that are toward the back, remember I told you these holes on the angle are toward the front, the holes that are on the back are going to attach right here to what we call the shock mount. So we're going to take that, we're going to put it right up here, and then once again, we're going to take and put the fasteners in by hand and get them started so we don't damage any of the threading. started. In a second. Once we have those started by hand, we're going to go back with our number three screwdriver and we're going to tighten them up. As you tighten these screws, it'll pull the part right into alignment where it needs to be. And then we can go over and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, before I move this, let's review uh, the locations of the holes. The four holes in a row, that's where you're going to be putting your screws in. The two holes that are up on the side of the angle should be toward the front of the chair and as I have this right now it is toward the front of the chair. Now we're going to take this sub-assembly and we're going to join it to the base. Here are the two sub-assemblies that we're going to put, it, put together to make your Reams lounge. The base assembly here that has the metal base and the bottom shell for the seat 
you'll notice that it sits at an angle. The front edge is the higher of, of uh, the two edges, and the lower part is the rear. The back is going to attach from the rear up onto the shock mounts, and it's going to be uh, attached there with four screws. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take the two remaining screws here, we're going to line them up with the two uh, holes on the shock mount, and then we're going to put a screw in there. So we'll line that up. This is usually a two-man job. You may want to get somebody to help you out with this. And uh, get that screw in there. As with the rest of this assembly, you're using that number three screwdriver. And all the screws will, uh, will work just fine with that. We've got two screws set on this side. The other side is the exact same thing. This is uh, the bottom cushion for an Eames lounge. I'm going to show you what the, the back of it looks like. On one side you're going to find a snap that's going to go to the rear of the lounge. And around the sides, here and here, here and here on the other side, and once right up in the middle at the top here, you have a little place where a clip can fit in. Looking at the lounge, we see the corresponding hardware. In the back, we've got a snap down here. Along the sides, we have clips on the right and the left-hand side. And then we've got another clip right here in the middle. What we're going to do is we're going to try to line the hardware up by placing the cushion into the lounge, leaving it a little bit forward and we're going to try to line up those clips with the openings on the back of the cushion and push it down into position. It may take a few tries to get all these clips to to catch for you. Just try to work them in one side at a time and get them to catch. It appears I've caught on the sides I'm going to go up to the front and I'm going to lift up on that to make sure I've caught in the front. And it appears I've caught in the front also. You may not get it the first try, just pull it back and give it another shot. Then we're going to push it all the way back. When the cushion's all the way back, it should line up with the front of the shell. And once you get to that position, we're going to look to fasten the snap that's in the back of the lounge. We can tip the lounge up. The snap is going to be right underneath here in the back. And what we can do is we can look up, oh that's already snapped almost. We look like we have good alignment. If, uh, if you have good alignment we can just push down on that. And we just heard it snap into place. So that cushion has been installed and it's in the proper location. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the arms to the arm angles. Earlier you remember me speaking about the location of the holes in the arm angles. Here are the two holes I was talking about earlier. On the bottom of our arms, I'm going to hold the arm right up here, we also have two corresponding holes. And here you just have to make sure that you get the right and the left to go on the right, uh, go on the proper location. If you look in an arm, you'll see that on the back they have a big angle cut off. That angle right there is going to go right up against the back of the chair, so that'll help you get it into the right position. And if we take this, this one is going to go on that side. And what we're going to end up doing is we're going to take a few screws, they're going to come up from the bottom and go into the two holes that correspond up here. Once you have the arm in position and it appears the holes are lined up, you want to take your smaller screw, put it on the end of your screwdriver and get it into that hole. 
very gentle pressure and try to get that started in there. Okay, we don't want to tighten that up all the way until we get the other screw in. I'm going to take that one, put it on the end of our screwdriver, and very gently get it into the hole. And we got lucky on this one. We have them both in, that will align the arm properly, and then we can just tighten it up. Once you have that arm installed, we can take the lounge, spin it around. We're going to do the exact same install on the other side. In installing the back cushions onto your eames, you want to look at the two back shells, the upper shell and the lower shell here. If we look at the corners of the shells, the upper shell has a larger radius on the upper corner compared to the bottom shells tighter radius. As you install the cushions you're going to have to keep that in mind. On the back of the cushions we have a similar arrangement for what we saw on the base cushion. We've got a single snap which will be on the bottom and three different spaces for the clips to go in. Now keeping in mind that we have a tight radius and a large radius we're going to install the cushions in place. Take this one, we're going to get it in place, leaving it a little bit high. Once we get those clips on, we've got three of them. We're going to try to catch the sides first. And the middle also has a clip. It appears that I've caught them all. And you can just give it a little pull and see if it's caught or not. These sides are definitely caught in the middle. It appears to be also. Once you get that in position, about this location there's going to be a snap. Once we line that up we'll snap it into place. The upper cushion is going to have the same basic arrangement, snap and three locations for the clips. We've got snap and three clips up here. We'll put it in position. Try to get the clips to catch. Give them a little test, pull on them, see if you caught in there. Get it in position, and then we'll go for that snap. With these upper cushions in position, take a look how the radius that I mentioned earlier, the larger radius up here matches, and the smaller, tighter radius down here matches. And that's what you're looking for in your eames.